South Dakota's soybean processors are building a new facility in Mitchell. Kettleland's Ariana Schumacher is taking a look at how it will impact area farmers. Good morning, Ariana. Good morning, Travis. In addition to soybeans, the new facility will also take sunflowers, the group's first facility that will handle both commodities, giving South Dakota producers more opportunity to market both crops. Having a new soybean processing facility in South Dakota will have an impact far beyond Mitchell. Whatever farmers, uh, particularly in South Dakota, can add value to their crops locally, that's a huge win for not only the farmers that deliver the beans, but also the livestock producers that get the meal in return. So this is um, a really big deal for those of us in South Dakota. Anytime you put down a large demand in one area, it increases the values of crops, uh, the prices that producers receive, there's less freight involved to, to get to that market. It really brings the market right to the producers. The facility will also process sunflowers, creating a bigger market for the commodity. For us, we think that that uh, helps us with uh, um, being involved in different markets and uh, also different products. So we're really enthused about doing that. Although sunflowers are seen more in central and western parts of the state, they hope that the location of the facility will make it easier for farmers to bring in that crop. The good news is for that plant, the location is such that we're a few miles from the interstate and we're also just off of a really good uh, highway. So we think as those, uh, that market develops, we'll be able to draw those sunflowers from a little bit west and who knows, maybe grow the uh, grow them a little bit closer to the plant too. And the benefits go beyond farmers. It's a substantial investment in that area and that has a ripple effect throughout the community. Uh, we're talking about 50 new jobs, 50 plus new jobs, um, you know, everything that goes along with it too. There's still a lot of work to be done planning for the facility, but right now they're hoping to see it open in the fall of 2024 or the spring of 2025. 